everyone, what about here? And welcome to... Oh, Phoenix. Phenotopia, as in, like, Phoenix. It's probably still Phoenix... Uh, Phenotopia Awakening. It's a side-scrolling Zelda-like? Uh, I guess Zelda 2. Which is kind of neat. I almost never see any games in that category. Uh, let's see, and I'm gonna very quickly just double-check everything. I'm gonna turn down the sound effects a bit. Because this music is great. It likes Zelda 2. I've never played Zelda 2. I Link's Awakening is the oldest Zelda I think I played. Either that or Link to the Past. I don't remember which one's older. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Anything else I want to do? View controls? Nah, we're good. All right, dive in. Oh, start the save file. Yup. For an optimal game experience, please rate your skill level. One star. I'm going to be three star. I was aim for medium. Oh. Oh. At three star... These perks will be active. All health items can be instantly used from the menu. Regular attacks will not drain energy. Well, let's see what the other ones have. No combat perks will be granted. So this probably makes it so my attacks use energy. Nope. Yeah, so att attacks would use energy, but you can still use healing items. Let's... Let's see what one star is, see what all of the perks are. All health items can be instantly used. Regular attacks will not drain energy. Energy starts recharging faster after use. Successful, successive quick attacks do not degrade in power. And iframes activate after receiving a two-hit combo. Honestly, let's go with no. It's really tempting to just go on, like, easier difficulties because I'm a... I'm a lazy person. I kind of like two star. I I think two star almost feels uh somewhat right for me. Mainly it's just because energy starts recharging faster after use. I don't feel like that's too far off. Maybe it's busted, but who knows. I'm doing this as a probably a one-off anyway. So we'll dive into this one. It's possible to change combat perks at any time in the options menu. Yep, so if this gets too too easy, then we'll switch. Anyway, the story of Phenotopia began with a great war. A war of peerless brutality and destruction. In their endeavor to destroy one another, humans gave rise to every sort of weapon. City-leveling missiles, life-eating disease, and unnatural bioforms of malintent. The earth was shattered beyond recognition. In their darkest hour, a glimmer of hope remained. Mankind had achieved their ultimate creation. Godzilla. Legally distinct Godzilla. And or mechas? Or, I guess, a phoenix. They called it the Phoenix. Its immense and limitless power brought a swift end to the war. However, the Earth could, not, uh, could no longer sustain life. The last council held a meeting to decide the best course for mankind. They decided to burrow deep underground and build giant metal bunkers. They would sleep until the earth recovered. Since the, that great war, centuries have passed. The phoenix faded into myth and legend. The slumbering humans awoke to a new earth and started, a civil, uh, started civilization anew. They formed new countries and rode under new banners. A new world has arisen. Now, a new chapter in this grand saga unfolds. With me, pixels. Those are actually some really sweet pixels. That's some good animation. My guitar, it's a bit dusty. A bed, comfortable enough to sleep in. Rest, yes, back to bed. Yes. Yes. Just watch there be a secret bonus ending for just sleeping for, like, 30, ta 30 times straight. <laughs> it's a family photo from last year. Do I really look like that? Oh, wait. I actually want to look at it. Oh, so probably orphanage kind of situation. Dojo robes. No need for those right now. Ugh. Nana says I shouldn't play outside because of my cold. That's fine by me. I much prefer to read a good book. 
I'm drawing what I like most in the whole world. It's a picture of... Grand Banana? No, silly. It's a pumpkin muffin. They're so deliciously sweet and tasty. I could eat a hundred. Oh, I want muffins. Shall I want muffins. It's okay. We'll make them later. We have bananas sitting around downstairs. And I want me some muffins. Oh, good. You're up. Gail, it's nearly time for dinner. Could you be a dear and fetch the kids? That's some really nice, like, smooth pixels. Do do do. Pinch of this, pinch of that. Hi, Gail. I'm on cook duty tonight. Look forward to my special toady pepper stew. How do I. Okay, that's how I go through. Which kids do I fetch? Do I fetch all of them? I heard Alex took the kids. They went star hunting in the forest outside the village. I can't believe I'm envious of a little kid. Well, there's our answer. Hi, Gail. I'm just feeding these adorable little Paro. Paro are much like us, in that they, they too need to eat. Hi, yeah! Master Cadell is so strict, he finds fault with everything that I do. He's got nothing but praise for the Wonder Twins. I'm really digging these backgrounds. They look sweet! Alright, this is most definitely a save point. Uh, another peaceful day. This is not befit of man, man like me. A man of action. That's... You don't want to say that in a game. But still, I suppose the village lasses are fair sight. Here comes one now. Be cool, birdie. Uh, hello, Gail. Kids, I believe I saw them leave through the village's east gate. Is that little rascal causing trouble for you again? That darn Alex. Say the word and I shall give him a righteous spanking. I so... I do love doling out righteous spankings. They're the best kind. Unrighteous spankings should be avoided. Or left for married couples. You know what I mean, I hope. Maybe not. How old are you? Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Well, if it isn't Gale. How are you? Urgent matters require... Required I depart home post-haste. Taking my chance to uh, rediscover my roots. By the by, I'm on the trail of something potentially big and earth-shattering. Let's hear it. Is that a bomb? I don't know. Aha! I suppose it would be cruel to tease you. Uh, tease something like that and not tell you. Every year I visit this village and I see you grow a little taller. Except this year. This year you might have shrunk a little. Rude. It's like a little... sheep thing. <gasps> There's a robot! Aren't these pooky adorable? It's a shame one will be at tomorrow's dinner. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hello, robot? Okay, so definitely gonna need some things to get in there. Alright. If you have business out there, I'd arm myself with a weapon first. I'm sure there's something in the communal warehouse near the center of the village that you can borrow. Guy! Dag it! Oh, but I can go fast. Peace. <laughs> this is probably the communal warehouse. Oh, move boxes. Okay, we got a wooden bat. It's good for baseball and for fighting. Press start, and then right bit button, equip it. Cool. With a bat equip, you can press X to attack. Hold X to charge up for a big swing. Equip, eat, dandelion. Oops. That's cute. Now, can I, can I get to the treasure chest? Kind of. Turns out, I can get to the treasure chest through the power of vandalism. There we go. Hell yeah, vandalism. Okay. We. This is such a cute game. Ah. 
like everything is just so smooth with, with like the animation and stuff. Oh, oh, I hit a pookie. Well, that one's get the one that gets eaten. I don't know. All right. Nice bat. If you're heading out, just give the switch above a good thwack and the gate will open. Normally, switches will operate in the slightest push, but stubborn ones in this village are extra stubborn. Wander gets bad and immediately tries to hit NPCs. I like to figure out what I, like, battle? I like to figure out, like, what my limitations are. Okay, let's see if I can whammo this iron caterpillar. Nope. Well, I'm seriously digging the presentation here. The pixels are fantastic. The gameplay is pretty smooth. I'm pretty fine with uh, making it so energy recharges faster, mainly just so I can sprint constantly. And I love the fact that I can change my difficulty settings whenever I want. Ow. Okay, let's get rid of you first. Ow. Okay, so do not... Do not just let the uh, durians hit you. I was kind of hoping I could collect it, but I guess no dice. Bam. Bam. Beware my... Oh. Found a berry fruit. Okay, there's a reason for it, I guess. Huh. Huh. I'm done. I can't go any further. Aw, oh, Felix, you aren't even trying. Why do I always have to babysit? Hi, Kale. Is it time for supper already? I'll wait until you return with the others. Let's all go back together. This is... Ow. bully this frog into non-existence. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Bullying! is what you get for being a frog, frog! Oh, the enemies don't do contact damage. That is so nice. The durian does, but who cares about durians? Ow? Oh! Oh, I can crawl. Okay. First and foremost, though... Eat. So a lot of these are things we want to cook. But I'm just going to eat for the time being. Because otherwise I'd die. And that would be embarrassing. But yeah, it looks like I can cook various things I find out in the wilds. And have that be better healing items. Oop. Whee else over here? New. Okay, so don't always sprint. It's not necessarily wise. Ferg! Ow. Get out of here, Ferg. Oh, shoot. Ha! At some point I will learn how to cook. Aw, there's water ahead. I'm the worst swimmer in the village. Well, second after you, I guess. That sounds bad. Get in there where you belong, Ferg. Now shoot. Nope, didn't work. Come back. Come back, Ferg Beast. Ow, dang it. 
Oh no! Oh no, drown! Okay. We're kind of okay. Oh, there's like... There's a bit of a landing animation. That's why I wasn't able to just hit them. I know what I must do. Kill Ferg. Thank you, Ferg. Goodbye, Ferg. I'm probably going to die before I actually get to the end of this. We'll see. Thorny shells are more likely to yield berry fruits after the final hit is as light as possible. I saw my brother do it. He has it down to an exact science. The thorny shell berry fruits risk uh, growing ahead make the next jump too risky. I bet you could knock them down first by throwing something at them. Do you see anything tossable around here? Throw a box. I like it how the thorny fruits hurt. There we go. The thorny fruits hurt when they hit me, but this box bouncing out my head doesn't do a dang thing. Bang. There we go. I just have to make sure I don't get clobber knotted in the midst of it. Hey! I'm just going to bring friend box with me. Who knows what it is good for? I do not. It is gone. Hello, money. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so I've made a bit of a... Bit of a mistake with this. Because I, I really wanted to Sonic the Hedge Girl. But that is apparently risky. Okay, if I just sit here swinging, we're okay. This game has a lot of mechanics. Yeah, it's going to be a little weird. It reminds me of uh, Treasure Adventure World. In terms of, like, kind of base pre presentation. Okay, we should eat some things. Eat leg. Bam. Oh, leg is good eats. Hey, uh, let's see. Anyway, thank you, Den Dance Canadian, for the 10 month resub. Thank you, Hurdy the Bard, for the 2 month resub. Thank you. Favorite part, though? No contact damage. You have no idea how much I hate contact damage in games. I mean, maybe you do. I talk about it often. I love how rolling is just that much faster. Okay. There's another fruit over there, but that's going to be hard to hit. Oops. Bye! <laughs> See you later. Okay. If I save, does it heal me? No. But maybe the altar does. Nope. No! Oh, I want to see a campfire. We can cook marshmallows. Ella got tired, so we're taking a break. Look, there's kindling for a campfire here. If you strike a flint stone in front of some kindling, you can start a campfire. There must be some flint somewhere nearby. Thanks for lighting the fire. Now we can cook something. Put a raw item and examine the fire with X to begin the cooking process. All you have to do is press the appropriate button when it hovers over the center of the panel. That's it. Here's some cookable herbs for you to try. I do it myself, but I'm afraid I'll mess up. Yay, a fire! Now where to find marshmallows? Alright, equip leg. Suitable fire blazes before you. Attempt to cook toad leg? Yes.
Okay, we got it. I can cook. Alright, equip more leg. Cook leg, yes. That isn't so bad. And it looks like we cooked all three at once. That is a huge relief. Now, does the Doki herb require e less? The answer is yeah. It looks like the more complicated the dish, the more it takes uh, to cook. So yeah, neat cooking mechanic. I like it. It's the kind of thing that I'm probably going to get grumpy about eventually, just being like, I'm tired of this. Maybe if we found, like, little upgrades that made it so you cook faster. I think that would be a decent way to balance it out. As kind of like a Metroidvania bonus. Oh, right. We should probably talk to her after cooking. And yeah, probably destructible ground, but... Yeah, it doesn't look, look like we take falling damage. Mmm, so aromatic. You keep it. I'm saving room for dinner tonight. I hear Kit's making a special dish. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can jump while... Oh, no, I can jump while climbing, but I have to hold up to get it working. But no, I, I think she's just a tutorial NPC, and, and I absolutely can just ignore her. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a secret there, but I don't think I have the ability to... I don't think I have the ability to break rocks yet. Maybe I do. Nope. Or this. This, yeah, it's sort of. It is a secret, but it absolutely seems like the kind of place I'm going to have to come back to once I can swim. I really like these backgrounds. Gail, good of you to finally join us. We here are the last remaining. The others had not our medal. Today at 1500 hours, intelligence reported a meteorite crashed into Doki Forest. 1500 hours, intelligence, what? As first on the scene, we have the opportunity to claim the Star Rock for ourselves. Help me in this expedition, and I will split the profits quite generously. But it's stuck in an early temple ruins. You said this is going to be a quick and easy. A minor setback. I heard the Temple of Anuri was cursed. More superstition. Friends, think of the big picture. This is more than just a shiny rock. It means new toys for everyone. It means better food. It means more books. You're losing me. Maybe I'll even get to get, have my own room. That'd be great, because you snore a lot. And Gail, you get a new stuffed pony? I love that like thinking about it animation now we can sit here all day thinking about whether we're going to do it or we can just do the thing who's with me i'm in Eh, sure that sounds like we have a majority but how will we get inside clearly you just got to hit the switch or something leave that to me Kid, you suck. Huh. I'm not having much success here. Here, you try it. You obtained a slingshot. You can now shoot rock projectiles at distant targets. Press start to open the item menu. Got it. Press B to aim the slingshot, and then fire. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I got it in the first try. Hey! All right, I should probably talk to him. Good job on opening the temple entrance. Criminy, couldn't they have built their bridge to extend a little further? This looks too risky to jump, which means we're going to need a new plan. Don't let us delay you. You can hop this easily, so feel free to scope out the temple first. If you can find the Star Rock before we're done, even better. I'm surprised you didn't just grab Alex by the ear and drag him home. Admit it, you want to see the Star Rock too. If the Anuri are alive today... Do you think they'd eat people? Speak of eating, have you seen any small green lizards crawling about? You can shoot them for a scrumptious snack. You can have this one I caught. Mystery meat. Bye. Gail, wait. I noticed you've hardly been using your gear ring. 
The gear ring is a must for would-be adventures. It allows you to quickly access items and tools. In the item menu, move the cursor over any item, then push the right stick in the direction. Cool. It's very convenient. Talk to me if you need another reminder on how to use it. Okay, so that's how we quick swap. The statue bears a round, empty slot. In we go. This game kind of has an Owlboy vibe to it. Just in terms of the presentation. And so on and so forth. I gotta keep an eye out for those lizards. That said, what is? An Anuri Pearl Stone. Yeah, I can't break the big rocks yet. This is about four kids going on an adventure. Okay, so that lizard does come back, but I have to wait for it to come out a little bit. <sighs> Dang, I could go for a snack. I didn't like eat like anything yesterday, but today I'm I'm famished. Well, oh there it is. There's the meat. Mystery meat. Insert of the Anuri Pearl Stone. It's muffin time. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make the muffins to actually eat the muffins. Let's get to a save point and then I'll grab a cliff bar and then I might actually just play some more of this. This actually seems kind of incredible. Like, the production values are insanely good. Oh, hey, found a save point. And, oh, a flint. And a campfire. Hell yeah. I don't know why she doesn't carry the flint with her, though. Did that kid just give you raw meat? Yes, he did. He just handed me a dead lizard and said, eat this. Either way, I, I'm i digging this. I, I think we'll stick, stick it through and at least finish the first temple. I love the fact that it had a bunch of different difficulty options. I The pixels are great. The visuals... I mean... Pixels, visuals, I don't know. I just, whoever was in charge of the art for this game knew what they were doing. I'm curious to see how the game, like, performs uh, as far as, like, gameplay-wise, especially once you start getting into bosses and whatnot. Presumably, there's going to be bosses and maybe deeper combat, uh, which could be interesting. I don't know. Is this full launch EA or Kickstarter demo? This, as far as I know, is full launch. There's not a whole lot on it. I don't think they had that big of a splash. Um, But, yeah, it is... It is 100% just out now. Uh, so 50 different enemy types, 12 boss encounters. 55 heart pieces, 111 moonstones. I'm just looking at the Steam page. Bunch of unique music, so on and so forth. Like, it seems great. Uh, let's see, this has been out on the Switch since November. Huh. Well, it came out on Steam uh, a couple days ago. I uh, It launched on January 21st. Uh, so it's a, it's at least available on multiple platforms now. And yeah, I might actually sink some more time into this, because it seems super good.